Greetings everyone, I'm back and it's about time, isn't it? Today we're going to jump into a thrift store haul. Had a couple other things planned for today, but I'm still working on some details, so we're going to do a thrift store haul. In the county that we live in, it's been recommended, I don't want to say mandatory, eh, maybe it's mandatory, that you wear face masks when you're inside a public building or a private business, unless you're eating or drinking or you're a first responder. So there was some uh, previous videos that we were recently posted that show us in restaurants and we're not wearing one of these, which is, yeah, there's some in here. We use them. And uh, we got this one at Universal, I think six bucks. And if you go to Hobby Lobby, I think these are about five dollars. You can get different different styles. So we do wear those when we're not eating or drinking in public. If you're outside, the county recommends that you practice social distancing, which we do. Uh, I also carry one of these, and it's a travel size, so I can take it anywhere. And when this starts getting low, I fill it up from one of these. So we have those that we carry with us. And also at the thrift store, I bought some spray hand sanitizer, which was $2.49. Nice part about this is when it runs low, you can fill it up. This one's non-scented. It actually smells like rubbing alcohol. When I was on the job working, I would use, I think it was 90 something percent rubbing alcohol and just do a hand rinse with that. Turn my hands nice and white. Uh, but then you can go back to regular hand sanitizing and maintenance after you're done with what I was processing. So we, we do have these also. So there's been some comments, uh, concern about our health being in Florida and other comments critical that we weren't wearing masks or practicing being out in public safely. We were. So having said that, let's get to the thrift store haul. Uh, I got some DVDs. We'll go through some of these quickly. Uh, movie that I thought I had and when I looked at the, uh, the list that I had saved on my phone, I found I didn't have it, so I got it. Deliverance. Um, enough said about that. Dollar eighteen at uh, all these DVDs were a dollar eighteen, and I when I get these they go into my personal library. I don't buy them to put them on eBay and and uh, make more money on them. So we have Deliverance from Here to Eternity, another classic film. I mean just the uh, Burt Lancaster, Montgomery Cliff, Deborah Kerr, Donna Reed, Frank Sinatra. If I come across some Sinatra stuff, I have a, a friend that I used to work with, uh, Kenny. I just got him some, I don't know if they're hard to find, that one's, that Rare's kind of overused, but not ones that I come across every day that have Frank Sinatra and try and get them for him. Found a couple Frank Sinatra movies, again, $1.18 a piece. Sorry, Kenny, I'm a cheap guy. Uh, but this one I'm going to hang on to because uh, it's a classic. Next one I think was a maybe a made-for-TV movie from the original Get Smart show. I have, I think, season one on DVD, and I came across this. It looks like it was made uh, sometime after the series ended on TV, but I'll give this a look. The Munsters. Gotta love The Munsters, although I was probably more of an Adams Family fan than The Munsters, but I like them both. Uh, but this is a family portrait. There's the original episode that aired in black and white, and then there's a episode that was done in full color that has the original Marilyn, because she changed. This movie, I don't think it's very highly rated, but it's fun to watch, especially at Halloween time. Uh, it's been on, I, I forget what channel does all the Halloween movies. Mink would know. Uh, but The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. Uh, it's a fun movie. The family can watch it. You don't have to be worried about what's going to happen in the basement or stuff like that. It's just a kind of a fun Halloween movie. And then I have the Flash Gordon collection that has Buster Crab in it, but this is a nine hours of explosive sci-fi action. Ooh. But it has uh, some of the Buster Crab episodes. And then there's a TV series that was made with an actor called uh, named Steve Holland. And those are from the mid-50s 
Buster Crab was done in the 40s, so I don't have any of the TV series. So for $1.18, I figured I'd give this a try. This one is a four film favorite Dirty Harry collection. It has the original Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, and Sudden Impact. And this is still sealed, never opened DVD for the low, low price of $1.18. So that was a good find and one that I was excited to, to um, find because I've been at the White House back when Nixon was president. Nixon? What is a Nixon? Now President Nixon, 1972 I think is when I went there. Uh, but this is a tour of the White House by the White House Historical Association. So I picked that up. It's got stuff on the back too. So that's the latest additions to the DVD collection. Move those out of the way. I came across this. This was $1.98 and it is from Radio Shack. Radio Shack? How do you turn it on? No, you don't turn it on. It's actually a scope. You look through the scope and it will tell you how far the pin is from where you're at on a golf course and it ranges from 50 yards to 300 yards. So I have a my son Bruce is a uh, golfer. I gave up golfing. I was never good at it. I like driving a golf cart, so. But it's a 5x20 golf scope. So I picked that up for him. That's something he might be able to use. Kind of different. And I found a book. Hardcover, no dust jacket. The Last Christmas Show by Bob Hope. And Bob Hope was a... Uh, Actor, comedian, dancer, I don't know if he was a singer, I don't think he was, he might have been, uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. And from uh, 1943 to 1972, I think, at Christmas, he would get other Hollywood talent to join him and they would go overseas to where our military was stationed and they would perform Christmas shows and do comedy skits and dancing and music and stuff and this is basically a, a history of his Christmas shows. Um, these are on eBay you can get them with the dust jacket they range anywhere from five or six dollars to I think if they're signed editions a uh, hundred some dollars a piece three dollars and sixty eight cents. And my last book is Thomas Jefferson's Monticello. Some say Monticello but I was actually there and the tour guide said it was Monticello, which is Italian for small mountain, which is where Jefferson opted to build his mansion. 43 rooms, I think the construction started in 1770. Uh, if you have a chance to go and you haven't, I highly recommend it. If you've been there, you probably want to go back. It's just an amazing house. I mean, some people say it's actually a, a history of architecture that you go and get to experience firsthand. And I'm just going to open that up and you get to see flowers. Let's try that again. More flowers. There's some interior pictures. But amazing place. It's on the back of a nickel. Well, older nickels. Because I don't think they're, I don't think it's on the back of nickels anymore. But I'm not sure. Last couple things is this was a dollar eighteen. Dollar eighteen. It's a uh, rubber stamp. These things were a mainstay in offices across the country for decades and things, technology have kind of passed them by. But this is a postcard, old style. If you collect postcards, you know what I mean. But for $1.18, I thought that's kind of cool. I'll put that on the back of one of my pictures and mail it to somebody. Last couple things is a Vivitar Auto something 2800D flash unit. I think I mentioned before, if you're into photography and you have a camera, especially if you have one that has a bulb setting, you can find these cheap at garage sales. Uh, camera stores, not so much. They, they have overhead and they're trying to, trying to stay in business. But garage sales, um, thrift stores, this is where you want to look for these. Uh, this one had some issues with some batteries that were in it too long. I cleaned that up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it flash. It does work. Um, 
because I know some people have issues to that. I'll turn it on, maybe you'll be able to hear it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's a very high-pitched squeak that it makes, and when it's ready to flash, a little light comes on. Got this for the low, low price of $1.98, and soon I'll do a video as to why I keep telling people if you can buy one of these for $1.98 and it works and you have cameras with settings, this is a, a good item to have. Got a cat fight going on. Hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> I hear laughing, so it must be okay. Is <laughs> that coming through your video? I'm not sure. <laughs> If you can hear it, we'll leave it in. If you can't, we'll take it out. A guest almost appearance by Mindy Minx. Uh, the other camera item that I found for a little over price of $2.98 was this little guy. And I recently, well not recently, it's been five months, five months, five weeks since I did a video. I have done a video in the past where I show some small cameras, uh, spy cameras, I guess you want to call them. Came across this. It's a Jazz DV140 video recorder in HD. I think HD must have been the name of the company that sold this because it's not high definition. But you pop that little guy open. These were sold at Walmart from what I understand. I've looked into them because I've never seen one before. And for $2.98, I thought I'll put this with my other sub-miniature cameras. Uh, it takes three AAA batteries. I think it originally sold for around $20. And when I looked to see if there was anyone in the world that actually had one of these, there was quite a few reviews. Most of them not very good. And they were mostly two or three years old. But you pop that little guy open and you turn it on. There it goes. And you have a working digital camera or camcorder, which I thought was kind of amazing that it worked. And when you turn it off, catchy little tune. So I shot some video with this outside. I did some inside and uh, the quality is not what you would want to ever use. Um, but again, for brand new for $20, I got this for $2.98. Um, it was fun to, uh, to use it just to see it work. I shot some video of uh, Luna out in Lanai visiting her friends that are uh, geckos or squirrels they came by quite a few of them this morning so I thought that was kind of cool I'll put it on the shelf with the other ones I use these big pens they come in uh, green blue black and red ink and I use these for doing my daily calendar, different events, and for banking, doing the checkbook. Use these all the time. I did not get this at the thrift store. They recently came out with this one where they've eliminated the green ink and they've replaced it with a mechanical pencil, which I thought was uh, pretty tricky. I mean, you take that off and there's an eraser for the pencil on the top. So I thought, well, this is about as good as it gets. In the thrift store, this was under two bucks, I think a dollar ninety-eight or something like that. Under two dollars, dollar ninety-eight. It's a um, eight-color pencil. It's got yellow, green, red, blue, different shade of blue, I think black, orange. I quite a few things in there, but it's a mechanical pencil. But they're different colored uh, graphites or whatever uh, graphites for regular lead. I don't know if they do color graphite. So I got that. That was a thrift store. I was under two dollars. There is one more thing. The mink found it for me. Twelve dollars and ninety-eight cents. I think that was the most expensive thing that I bought at the thrift store, and it was this Chicago White Sox jersey, which is a Major League Baseball or MLB. I don't know if you can see the tag. Uh, jersey for twelve ninety-eight. So that was a good find by the mink, and I'm wearing it. I've seen Comiskey Park, I've seen New Comiskey Park, but I've not been to a White Sox game. Minky has actually been to a White Sox game. She saw the Cleveland Indians play there way back in probably the 90s when it was a brand new stadium. So that should do it for the Thrift Store Hall. I hope you enjoyed it. 
leave comments down below and we will see you soon. Bye.